to create work on our atmosphere I want to first set up our sunlight and it is look nice from the side but I want to add a little bit more dramatic effect and for this we'll just take our sun and bring in a corner up front of the camera so it will cast the sliding directly okay we can see we have it nice highlights on the leaves now we can go inside the atmosphere editor and before we work even with the uh, adding clouds, I want to add properly haze to this. So we'll work with start with pres aerial perspective. So we'll pop up about two, three. And we can kind of preview right here. It's already adding a little bit haze. Um, let's add on the ground fog a little bit. That should increase a bit more haze on the bottom for us. And as we're adding this effect, we can increase a little bit on a glowing. So we can add glowing from sun and increase a bit glowing in the atmosphere. So it will provide even more this depth effect. Um, we probably will work a little bit more with the aerial perspective, probably decreasing and adding additional effect as we work with the clouds because we need it uh, properly balance between sharpness and how clouds will come up versus how much uh, depth and dimension with the haze give it us to our plants. Okay, so this is very basic setup right now. Uh, we can start work on the clouds. We're going inside the cloud tab and we'll go click on load. Uh, let's start with first our stratus cloud so it will go way high up and we have multiple, um, you can select, I will prefer this first strata so they have very nice lines going in our atmosphere. And you can notice they do display, but they kind of get lost because I get very high haze. We need to work on this, uh, but I do want to reduce a little bit color to about 50. So it will be right there. You can see the our clouds. Okay, so we're actually to preview a little bit better clouds. So let's take our sunlight. We'll just move for now. We'll just move a little bit on the side so we can preview our clouds a little bit better and we'll move back when we want to add glow to them. Okay, back to atmosphere editor. And this is just the additions. So let's go next. Now we'll go to spectral. And as a base, we can select all these different clouds, but we'll go work probably with a thick camelos or big camelos. So let's go click on a big camelos right now. And uh, first, we'll kind of loading all atmospheres. I want this one at a little bit high altitude. So we'll go about maybe two kilometers. We'll increase height of the layer. So and you can see this is we work. So we increase height of the layer. You can see right here, this one height, so maybe about this much. We'll reduce our cover. And this one, I want to actually increase opacity and take density to maybe about one or two. This is will create a very um, thin, whispery cover of atmosphere kind of clouds on the top. So add additional coloring to us and you can kind of see it. One thing what we want, we want to decrease detail so we don't need very grainy. A little bit sharpness decrease, grain. Add altitude variation and pop up a little bit on the ambient light. So it will should just add, bring them a little bit more out of the atmosphere. Okay. You know, maybe even reduce cover more. We don't need as much. It's just a little bit something in the air. Because when I go to take photos of the clouds, they're always very complex. Very rarely you can find one type of the cloud. So we want to have this complexity of the real clouds. Okay, next we'll go open and we'll just, let's select um, next thick sky cameras. And this one will start adding a little bit more character to our image. So for this, we'll actually drop them down. We'll drop down them to 500 meters. Let me increase preview window a little bit bigger so we can see it. 
Okay, because this is our hero kind of clouds, we want to add more details to them. So notice right here, we have it on the top, going some interesting, we want to add maybe some more details to the top. We'll do this by two things. One, we can take increase our height. And notice when we increase our height, like these elements above, because clouds will go up, we'll start adding more interesting characters to the top. Again, because the height is high, the cover. So let's go take our cover and reduce a little bit on this, so we can preview better. Okay, you can see how taller they are. Uh, let's add details because it's lower to the ground. We can add, and I want to bring altitude variation up. So it is add more fractal when we're going to the top. Um, sharpens another thing, so it will add more details to the top of our clouds. Okay, um, as well, we can play a little bit more with ambient light, but let's bring a little bit more down and increase shadow density, bring up. Anytime when we add details and other, it will create um, little bit more problem with the grain so when we have a grain we want to work a little bit better with the quality on a um, lighting could pass through the cloud so we'll need to increase some resolution so right here same we can actually add a little bit more past it will add darkness in this area where's the last passing okay this is kind of our point, okay, maybe too much on the capacity. So let's go ahead, add a new cloud. And I want to create a front going from top almost. So again, we're mixing different type of clouds. We're playing with settings. So there are another ones. We'll go in and we'll select cloud front. This is a very nice preset if you want to create like rain or other coming. So we'll see in a second. So we'll create on the side. However, we want to drop this down to at least one kilometer on this, on the cloud front. Okay, and we work a little bit on the cover. Probably we'll see when it should come up right on the side right here. You can see we can bring a little bit more cover up. So let's just cover there. Um, also, we'll bring just a little bit details, increase altitude variation. Okay, let's click OK right now for our clouds. And we'll go and now select our sunlight right here. And we'll take our sunlight and bring back around. Area, let's up and a little bit more on a corner. Okay. Yes, maybe around right here. Okay. So let's go ahead, click render, and we'll preview what we have so far. Okay, so render completed, and you can see we had very wash out. Nice lighting, but kind of wash out this one. And next tutorials, we'll see why this is happening.